How can I help? I do. How did you know? You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you... I... That is you... Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult even with the best of intentions. There is great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I believe you truly mean what you say, for now. But sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my homeworld, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. The hind end of space, a pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Yes, yes I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed.
The Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. A star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve, after some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. I thought you would. Without these fees, Zerka Corporation would have closed this port years ago. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure?
There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Well, it's common knowledge, so there's no harm in telling you. It's a tale of bad business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect, and possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining, and limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, this rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren wastes that serve as fine soup tracks. Attracting business has been slow, however. Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world. But I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native sentient species have no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago, maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. They're barely more than animals. The sand people. They're vicious and attack outsiders on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. They won't cooperate. The Jawas are scavengers and a bit primitive. Hard to understand. They have an affinity for droids. Some of our scientists believe that they may not be native to the planet, but how they got here, they may not even know. As I said, they're hard to understand. They usually end up slaves to the sand people. They aren't fighters. Good traders, though. Not personally, but they've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. It's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company has even put a bounty on them, but I'm sure not going to try for it. It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. That's not much information. Could you tell me more? You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. 
As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Laboda ni winkis mak toma, wana kun bes ching pa ma rulira, tok ching bang non kick, tok ninja mulira ra bes, uba batu Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Of course. Zerka Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. Very well. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but... I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. 
I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very good. Yes, what's on your mind? Have I been quiet? Suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything, strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on and why they didn't keep you on down to ink for training. Isn't that strange? I'd be more than happy to, but she's as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. I'm hoping you'll be the one to enlighten me. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they... don't they have to train you? A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look... I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. La boda ni wen kis mak toma wana kun best ching pa ma ruli ra top ching bang non kick Tuk ninja mulira rabes kuya mi just kuna chitnai ina kun ma ma rulira ra chikun slimo patona undi hadonga chikun kabi jawana bota ayu ta honga cha kanki dora kachi kuita hodonga topa da bon kwali agando do na no chut chut muksha pa 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 bola wana chitnai ba muli slimo boda wanga kun bes mulira rabes Kuya mi just kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo patona. Mundi hadonga chikon kabi. La boda ni wenkis mak toma. Wana kun best ching pa ma ruli ra. Top ching bang non kek. 
Tuk Ninja Mira Rabes. Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo pardona. Rundi ha donga chikon kabi. La boda ni winki smak toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tok ning cha muli ra ra bes. Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo pardona. Rundi ha donga chikon kabi. La boda ni winky smack toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tuk ning cha muli ra ra bes. Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ma ma ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo pardona. Rundi ha donga chikon kabi. La boda ni winky smack toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tuk ning cha muli ra ra bes. Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo pardona. Rundi ha donga chikon kabi. Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ma ma ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo pardona. Rundi ha donga chikon kabi. La boda ni winky smak toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tuk ning cha muli ra ra bes. Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ma ma ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo pardona. Rundi ha donga chikon kabi. La boda ni winky smack toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tuk ning cha muli ra ra bes. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you.
La boda ni un kiss ma toma. Wanna come back? La cuya. Cuya la bo. La boda ni cuya. La boda ni un kiss ma toma. Wanna come back? Chimba ma rulira. Top chimba no cuya la bo. La bo. Cuya mi just kuna chitenai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun Slimo patona Rundi ho donga chikon kabi La bot
Chiwi Aika Ka Chong Chicha Agi Inko Tune Chuna Muri Ra Tangi Wama Jikona Tong Kipa Nongku Nek Abog Baba Hasan Shan Noba Muri Ra Kilai Kunka Ako Chikopa Chino Muri Ra King Pajak Slimo Pui Tuana Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek. Wana kumbes cinta tonga buk shaun menong. Kara wolpa mulji guna nabak mule. Labuda na rinkis matoma. Yinkin slimo podona mule ra chikun. Nova rundi hau tonga kongkabi. Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek. Wana kumbes cinta yamul kunung. Labuda na rinkis matoma. Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun. Nova rundi hau tonga kongkabi. Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek. Wana kumbes cinta yamul kuci berdua nane bobo tunggal uns. Labu dan awen kies matoma yinkin slimo podo namule rakikun nova runde hatung aku. Labu dan awen kies matoma. Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun No rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek Wana kumbes cinta yamul kun hunkabi Tuk men tangjo Labuda na rinkis matona Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun No la rundi hau tonga kun hunkabi Kipe chao na kini kosendi Nao punek turang wanga bula Chila yun nao Labuda na rinkis matoma Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun No la rundi hau tonga kuhung kabi Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek Wana kumbes Cinta yamul kunung kabi Tuk neng tangjo Labuda na rinkis matoma Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun No la rundi hau tunga kuhung kabi Labuda na rinkis matoma Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun No la rundi Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek Wana kumbes cinta yamul kunung kabi Tuk neng tangjo Labuda na rinkis matoma Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun No la rundi hau tonga Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek Wana kumbes cinta yamul kunung kabi Tuk labuda na rinkis matoma Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun No la rundi hau Labuda na rinkis matoma Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chikun Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek Wana kumbes labuda na rinkis matoma Yinkin slimo podo na mule ra chik Rundi hau tonga tong kimba nang kongkek Wana kumbes cinta yamul kunung kabi Tuk neng tangjo kune mule ra best Chupa kacho na garn totris ti toki yuma bogra Chikuto kano pala ti toki graduk tangu tima 
Lagola na wenkes matona. Inkin slimo podona mulera chikun. Lova runde hadunga kuhunkavi. La gola na wenkes matona Inkin slimo podona mulera chikun Nova rundi hautonga kuhunkavi Rundi hautonga tonkimba nang kongek Wana kumbes chimpa la mul kuhunkavi Tuk nen tanjo kune mulera best La gola na wenkes matona Inkin slimo podona mulera chikun Nova runde hautonga kuhun Rundi hautonga tonkin banan kongek Wana kumbes chimpa la mu La gola na wenkes matona Inkin slimo Rundi hautonga tonkin banan kongek Wana kumbi La gola na wenkes matona Ink Chip La gola na Rundi hautonga tonkin banan kongek Ka chuba yo kola wish Tu chungla ta kuchu Yo karel la gola na
wana kumbes kio kaya weshio mani bajo ni pes un lab labola na wen muta da hot Slim. <laughs> 
Rumbi hau tonga ton kimba nan konkek. Wana labela na renkies matona. Inkins. Run. Mucho shock pa hat. Kie no no da ma pa ole rachikun. Ronda di hotonga kun honga di. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba no no tek. Tuk nin chatukun ne mule rabes. Ka chikun ita hotonga. Ye king kun ba mule rachikun. Slimo po donar un dejo tunga. Tolpa da pongwale cuando na gugu chuchut. Cava dum cu pelio botenya. Bona nai cuchu. Awaga posca chocola. Mucha shag panca. Takom justach miki grabal mogo. Cachi ita hotunga. Well, now, what can Gandraff do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened on Terrace. Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. Ask me again in a few years, and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going back out on the circuit. Go it, yeah, but for now, for now, I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. Well, you, you should try the locals. Jow is maybe a funny little guy. Uh, keep safe. Yep, yep. Seems like tough times are coming. I heard about you uh, setting the track record. Wish you'd seen it. <laughs> Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. Gandroff is the name. Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and... Don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a husband, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. All right. Uh, keep safe. Yep. yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sci-Tech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacturer, that they are a prestigious company indeed. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Statement. The fool Ithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you, should you purchase me, please. And was this a droid of his own, or something stored in that warehouse? Colo 
How can I help? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Womp rats are not good eating, trust me. Oh, hi. You another racer then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Nice job beating my times, too. I guess my heart isn't in the racing. Contracts are distracting stuff. I suppose you've got a right to know track business, but with the times you've been posting... You did? I don't believe it. 
I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I really do. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. Thanks again. I meant it.